showtime. Let me introduce the first speaker of today. You might know him because he's a, <laughs> he's a Mobile Monday team member uh, and he actually has a very good story this time. He works, uh, he does cool projects for the NOS, he uh, does cool back, back channels, he uh, recently did a project called One Frame of Fame. Uh, I don't know if you saw the video, if you haven't, go check out his site. Um, I won't say what you are going to talk about because that's way too cool for you to tell. Martijn, the uh, stage is yours. Thanks. Well, so I'm uh, Martijn. It's cool to be on stage for the first time. Um, I do event organizing, I do a lot of programming, mobile development and uh, other stuff. Uh, and for a long time I've believed the internet is more than just a web. Uh, I've been doing websites uh, well, for over 10 years. But um, websites and fixing about pages is not really interesting anymore. Uh, so these days I do a lot of uh, mobile development. If you have an iPhone and you're Dutch you probably uh, have one of my programs. But today I'm going to talk about the mobile uh, team building day we did. We do uh, one of those every year and not last time. Last time we drove uh, cool carvers around. But uh, a year ago uh, we went on a trip to Protospace. Protospace is a bit like a playground for grown-ups, but Greek, geeky grown-ups. Uh, they have cool things like a 3D printer. You can, uh, this is an uh, object you can actually only print with a 3D printer. It's not possible to manufacture this any other way. And they have laser cutters where you can cut your logo into an apple and stuff like that. So what were we going to do? Uh, we, uh, we were thinking about an ID and since we're all uh, geeky but we want to do something with mobile or the internet, uh, we want to do something with Twitter. Uh, we wanted to measure uh, terms uh, with Twitter but in a physical device. Uh, so we needed some materials, uh, we had some wood, we had the cool laser cutter that uh, could actually cut wood. Uh, so we could uh, cut out the physical device uh, out of the uh, plywood. Uh, this is it. It's, uh, it's over here. Let's hope this will stand. Uh, so this we could cut out of plywood. Uh, but then we wanted it to do something. So we took an I.O. bridge. And an I.O. bridge is uh, this, this I.O. bridge, small box. Uh, and it's uh, like a modular bu building block for connected devices. You can connect uh, sensors to it or other plugs. And that's this slide. Uh, there's all these, these fidgets you can plug into it uh, that you can connect uh, and that can measure temperature or light or can control other things. But it's really simple. It's, I'm, I'm not uh, into soldering, but you can use it uh, through a web API. So even if you're, I have a programming background, even if you just uh, know how, how the web works, you can now build a physical thing in your own home in a day. And you don't need to solder and use these things, which I also don't really know how they work. Uh, so this is our I.O. bridge, it's, uh, it's over here. And on one side you plug it into the internet and the other side is connected to, uh, to our meter and it reads uh, from a web page we control. Uh, so I'm going to show you what it actually does. Uh, in a year, do you think Android or iPhone will be bigger? And if you all start tweeting that now, we'll hopefully see this thing move. Does it work? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Huh? You press a button here, and this actually goes through the internet in the US. And uh, so let's. Uh, I see Mark resetted it. Thanks, Mark. Uh, This side is iPhone and this side is Android. So now hopefully it will move if you all start tweeting and uh, we can see which will win. It works? It works. <laughs> yeah, you have to include hashtag mobile arms. I can see the votes coming in. There's 11, 11 votes for iPhone. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I think this should be my next slide, but. I also think. Oh. Oh, wait. Sorry. Yeah. So that's the interface I built. Um, 
So it's, it's really easy. Go build your own stuff. Go buy an I.O. bridge uh, or an Arduino. I have to say that from Alex. Um, and it's really easy to build your own Internet of Things, connect device in just a day, even if you're, if you're not into soldering or how these devices actually work. Uh, that's it. Thanks. Are there any questions from the audience already for this super quick talk? One, no, zero questions. Everything is clear. No, no Twitter questions. Oh, man, you okay. were, you were cool. clear. Oh. Ah, Kruithof. Ah, oh, yes. here we go. <laughs> Please in English. <laughs> Hi, Martijn. Thank you. So, what do you see as the future of this? <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, we have another two hours. Uh, no, I really believe these things, uh, probably it will still be a bit, bit geeky to, uh, to build it yourself, although it's, it's pretty simple. But I do believe in the future you'll have a lot of these connected devices in your house. There will be really uh, personalized devices, like you'll have a light bulb that will light up green if there's no traffic jam on the way to your work and stuff like that. And I think that that'll, it will be way more personal and there will, it will, not everything will be, have a web interface, it will have other physical interfaces in your in your house or your office. 